Hey everybody, What's welcome to, welcome to uh, Fresh Breast's latest episode of Cribs. Uh, we're, I think we're gonna take you on a, a tour of our van. van. Crib. So uh, let us let, welcome yeah. to the van. Let us show you the entrance way. Come on in. All right, so here we are. This is the living room. Um, Josh will be back in a minute. He just went to the back of the room. And uh, as you can see, we have this really funky shag carpet here. This is the latest installment in the van. We just got this. Really just cozies it all up, you know what I mean? We got these two little stools that also double as storage, dirty laundry, you know what I'm saying? Or some cooking supplies. And uh, yeah, this is where we hang out in the living room. Hey everybody, uh, now that Katie showed you the living room, uh, let me bring you into the kitchen. She just uh, left for the other room of the house. Uh, <laughs> first, we gotta walk down this hallway. So here in the kitchen, uh, We've got shag carpet, like it's pretty much throughout the entire home. And uh, we've got our uh, coffee maker, our toaster here. We've got gray water and fresh water tanks. And we've got a nice stainless steel sink that I made out of a salad bowl. Uh, I just punched a hole through the bottom, put some plumbing in it, and then we've got a, a pump sink. And then uh, also, I guess the way that we run these items is right here we've got a thousand watt inverter with a deep cycle battery so we installed that ourselves that's that can run our coffee maker and uh... some people wonder what we're eating in the van and like how we're feeding ourselves but um as vegetarians or plant-based types uh it's not too hard right it's pretty easy actually uh food keeps when you don't cut it off another being know what i'm saying <laughs> Next thing you know, your daughter's knocked out. Yeah. Down by the river. Yeah, I was walking, <laughs> walking down the field the other day. I saw a cow field and I was like, Mar! and they're like, I'm going to be beef. <laughs> so that. So also, I know everybody wants to know what's in the fridge. You know, like it's not Cristal. But it's damn close. We've got the Kingsville IPA right now that's rocking. That's the kitchen. Okay, so you've seen the living room, you've seen the kitchen. Now, wait till you see the bedroom. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Come on, down this hallway. All right, so. Here it is, my friends. All right, so welcome to the bedroom. We got, if you believe, enough room for both of us to lay this way. And uh, it's super comfy. We bought a thick foam mattress. We got a nice duvet, classic Navajo blanket, <laughs> and the home. It's not a place. It's a feeling. Down by the river. Hey guys, what now that you've seen where the magic happens, uh, why don't you come see where uh, the not so magic happens? I'll show you the bathroom. Let's. There's another hallway we got to go down. That's where the toilet goes, people. It's for emergencies only. Like there was this one time where we needed to get somewhere and we didn't really have time to stop and take a break. So I thought about peeing in the toilet in the back while we were driving. She did it. <laughs> it's for emergencies only. You've almost seen almost, almost. Okay, so you've almost seen everything in the van, 
except for one thing. Nope, a couple more things maybe. All right, so you've pretty much seen everything that there is in the van, except for a few more things. And this one is my favorite. So come on, let's take a look. All right, so because it's a van, it has wheels and we can drive like all over the place. This is a van, <laughs> it has wheels. And we can drive all over the goddamn country with it. So, this is a van, it has wheels, and we can drive all over the place. We cross countries, one country, and <laughs> welcome to the cockpit. <laughs> Alright, so Josh doesn't let me drive that much, but when I do, this thing cruises. <laughs> what is it? Like? So, welcome to the cockpit. Okay, so Josh doesn't let me drive this all the time. But when he does, look out. This thing's loaded. <laughs> Welcome to the cockpit. All right, so Josh doesn't let me drive all the time. He likes to drive, obviously. But when I do, I like to take her slow, you know? This, this thing's a thing of beauty. It's got all the features. It's got heat. <laughs> radio and even a plug we got steering wheel check air freshener clutch got a fm am radio sweet hand sanitizers we've got even a plug a couple cup holders two choice seats this thing is mint and you know it all right well I know you guys are probably on the edge of your seat with this uh, unreal episode of Crips, and uh, you're probably thinking, there can't possibly be more, right? Like, this place is dope, but there is. Come with me. Now you ask, like, what good is a home without a garage? Look at the size of this garage, all right? Now you can you can fit pretty much all of the band gear under here. And then there's a Doberman that sits back here ready to pounce if anybody tries to fuck with our shit. You can fit all, like all the band gear under here and uh, also a tiny man with a machete that will come out and fuck you up. <laughs> you can fit it in a, the entire gear down here, including all of our clothes, and enclosed in, in one of the suitcases is a small robotic ninja that will come out and just get you if you try and take any of our stuff. Oh, it's like you could fit the entire electric, <laughs> you could fit the entire electric light orchestra in here. You could you could fit all of Rosie O'Donnell's cush things in here. But you could fit the three stooges standing up on each other's shoulders lengthwise in it. Like have a look at this the size of this garage. <laughs> like you could fit 101 Dalmatians in here. Like you could pull in and out of it. <laughs> like you could foot you could <laughs> You could fit a full-size cougar in here that just hunted down a full-size deer that just filled up on lemongrass. I mean, like, you could fit a pack of wolves in here that... in heat. <laughs> I mean, look at the size of this garage, right? Like, if you look at the width and the depth and the height, you know, like, just look at it. Okay, so that's the whole tour of the van. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Fresh Breath's Cribs Van Edition. And if you'd like, if you like, if you like, what you All right, so thanks for checking out our van with us. We've had a great time. And... <laughs> All right, so that wraps up the tour of the van. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Fresh Breath's Van Cribs. 
Be sure to check out our tunes. www.freshbreathband.com Check it! What? Before you wreck it. It's Thanks. like... No one really understands it, or not a lot of people do anyways, but it's a lot of fun. Living. In the van. Down by the river. <laughs> Temporarily, I mean. I mean, we have a home. A lot of, well, not a lot of you, but some of you thought we lived in the van full time. And I respect that, that you thought that of us. I think we did a good job portraying the life in the van. I think so too, but I gotta be honest, there's been times where I needed a break from the van. Absolutely. Minus seven's the cutoff, I think. Minus seven, you really start to regret living in the van. <laughs>